New notation just dropped it. Hmm, let's have a look. Right here, they are saying that if we have 4 to the third to the second to the first power, that is equal to 4 to the power of an exclamation mark. Of course, this is the factorial notation in math. But I don't know if this is a legitimate notation though. However, I know what you are trying to say when you put something down like that, which is pretty creative, I would say. Because of course, we know if we have 4 factorial the usual way, this is just 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Cool. Not about the, I'm not sure about the notation, but this one thing I can tell you. This is actually a legitimate thing. This is called an exponential factorial. And yes, there are different kinds of factorials out there, so be careful. I actually have a video on 7 factorials that you probably didn't know. You guys can go ahead and check that out. I actually did not include this one in that video, so let's talk about this one right here a little bit. So for exponential factorial, it's pretty much just like this. Instead of multiplying, let's start with the first number, and each time the number goes down by 1, we are going to build out the power instead. So you can look at it like this. You can write down a formula as n, and then raise to the power of n minus 1, and then raise to the power of n minus 2, and so on, so on, so on, up to 2 and 1. One thing you have to make sure though, you have to do the power like this. The, the top two numbers like this first, and then next, and then so on, so on, so on, and then this, and then this, it's pretty much inside out. Sometimes this might not be too clear, but it's okay because you can write this down recursively. If you do so, you can say a1 is equal to 1, and then a n equals n raised to the previous power, which is a n minus 1. And this is true for n greater than or equal to 2. So let's take a look. a1 is 1, so a2 is just 2 for the base raised to the previous number for the power, which is 1. And that's just 2, of course. a3 is equal to 3 for the base. And you put the previous power right here, previous number right here for the power. So it's like this. And then a4, let's compute what this is. You have 4, and then you raise to the previous number for the power, which is 3, 2, 1, like this. So it's like this, like that. Check this out. This is 4. To the third, this right here is 2, 4 to the third is, no, 3 to the second is 9, and then 4 to the ninth is 2, 6, 1, 2, 4, 4. I saw the answer earlier and then I remembered it. Yeah. As you can see, the numbers grow pretty fast, so it's pretty exciting. Unfortunately, I really don't think we have a nice notation for that though. Let me just kind of bring up another factorial to make a comparison. The name is pretty cool though, it's called the hyper factorial. We do have a nice notation for that, it's h of n. This right here is equal to n to the n. So not only you have the number, but you also raise that to itself for the power, and then you multiply by n minus 1 to the n minus 1, and then the next number to the next number power, and so on, so on, so on, until we finish it at 1. So 1 to the 1. So for example, if we have h of 4, this means 4 to the 4 times 3 to the 3rd times 2 to the 2 times 1 to the 1. Which is like a, wow, version of that, right? And if you work this out, which one is bigger? This is bigger. I haven't remembered the answer here. 2, 7, 6, 4, 8. This has 6 digits, this only has 5. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, another factorial, I think it's called a super factorial, is that you have the base is 4 factorial and then 3 factorial and then 2 factorial. It's like a combination of exponential factorial and a regular factorial, but each one you have exclamation marks right there. But that's, that's a little bit too much. So I think I'll just stop right here.